Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video has been highly requested from a lot of you guys on Instagram asking for a fall makeup tutorial. So that is exactly what I did. So today's video I'm not going to be doing my full face of makeup because my foundation, concealer, bronzer, blush, and highlight are pretty much the same exact they have been for the past few videos. So I just went ahead and cut that part out of the video and just strictly kept the eye makeup and the lips in this. Yeah. So this eye look was super easy to achieve. I used three eyeshadow colors to achieve it. It's definitely a more dramatic smoky eye, so it's good for any kind of event this fall that you have coming up. But yeah, like I said, it was super easy and any of you guys can do it. So, before I teach you guys how to achieve this eye and lip look, if you are not already, then please hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoy this video, then please give me a thumbs up and we will get started. Okay, so, for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys only an eyeshadow look and a lip. So if you guys want to see another video of me doing a full face of fall makeup, then definitely leave that in the comment section below. But just for today, I'm going to be doing an eyeshadow and a lip for you guys. So for the eyeshadow, I'm going to be using two eyeshadow palettes. These are the Jaclyn Hill Collection, and this one is the Ring the Alarm, and then this one is the Armed and Gorgeous. So the Armed and Gorgeous one looks like this. It has a lot of oranges and some greens and golds and then this ring the alarm is more like orange warm and it has reds but they're both warm eyeshadow palettes these are two of my favorite eyeshadow palettes i really love like the original jaclyn hill palette from morphe that's probably my number one favorite eyeshadow product that i own but honestly anything that i have ever tried from morphe has been bomb so i don't think you can go wrong with any of their eyeshadow palettes or any of their products in general. Alright, so first what I'm going to do is just pick up that Armed and Gorgeous palette and a fluffy blending brush. This is the JH30 from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collection. And I'm just going to dip my brush into the shade called Agent right here. And I'm going to blend that in my crease area and keep it pretty high as well. Alright, so now I'm going to be picking up the other palette, which is the Ring the Alarm, and I'm going to be picking up the shade right here called Alert, and I'm going to also blend that into my crease area, but I'm going to keep it a little bit lower than I did that first shade. So now that I have those two shades, Alert and Agent, both blended all over the crease of my eye, I'm going to take this Ring the Alarm palette again and a packing brush and I'm going to pick up the shade right here, the dark brown one, and it's called Secret. I'm going to get a lot of that product, kind of knock off the excess powder. I'm just going to pack this on the lid, really keeping it almost lower than the crease, but I'm going to bring it up into the crease in just a minute. But as of right now, I'm just going to focus on the lower lid. Alright, so I have that dark shade packed on the lid of my eye. And I'm looking a little crazy right now, but it'll all come together soon, I promise. But I'm just going to take a smaller crease blending brush and pick up the shade Alert again and I'm going to kind of blend where the dark shade and the transition shades meet so it has more of a smooth transition and is not looking so harsh on my eyes. Alright so that is pretty much it for the tops of my lids. I'm going to go back and highlight my brow bone in just a second, but now I'm just going to move on in to the lower lash line really quick. And again, this is going to be coming from the Ring the Alarm palette, and I'm going to be picking up the shade Alert, and I'm just going to brush the shade all over my lower lash line. So I now have that shade Alert all on the lower lash line and I'm going to pick up that same pencil brush that I just used, which this is the JH38 brush. 
and I'm going to pick up that dark brown shade that I already have on the lids. I'm just going to take that same color and bring it down into the lower lash line. This time I'm not going to bring it all the way into the inner corner. I'm really just going to focus this darker color on the outer corner and then bring it midway into the eyes. So I'm completely done with the upper lid and my lower lash line. I'm just going to go in and highlight my brow bone and my inner corner. And I'm going to be switching back to the first palette that I had in the beginning, which is the Armed and Gorgeous. And I'm taking this in with the Moda Pro Brush. And this is their Smudger Brush. I'm going to pick up that shade VIP, which is a white highlighter shade. And just strictly... I like my brow bone and my inner corner and then that will wrap it up for the eyeshadow part. All right, so clearly this look is still looking a little awkward and incomplete because I have not applied my eyeliner or lashes yet. So I'm going to do that really quick. And for today, I'm going to be going in with the Morphe liner in the shade Dark Room. I'm going to be going in with the liquid liner from Hank and Henry in the shade Black. And then I'm going to be using the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara in the shade Black. And then I'm going to apply these Kiss Lashes in the size 11. So now I'm completely done with my eye makeup. I'm just going to hop off the camera really quickly and finish off my face makeup. And I'm going to do my bronzer, my blush, and my highlight. And then I'll be right back and share with you guys what kind of lip products that I use to finish off this look. So be right back. All right. So I now that I finished off my face and my eye makeup, it is time to go in with the lips. And for today's two products, I'm going to be using the Steve Laurent lip liner in the shade chic and then i'm going to be going in with the ofra cosmetics this is their long lasting liquid lipsticks in the shade monaco and i'm going to apply these to my lips really quickly So that completes it for today's video. This is the final look at my makeup. I really like this eye look with this slip. I think they look really good together. This is definitely more of a dramatic eye look and I do have other fall looks. So if you guys would want to see more of a subtle fall look, then definitely just comment that below and I will get that video up for you guys. But this is definitely more of a dramatic smoky eye for a fall look. So if you have any kind of fun event or date night that you want to do your makeup for, this would be really good for that but definitely let me know if you have any other eyeshadow requests that you want me to do or just any other videos in general but yeah so that's it for today's video i hope you guys liked it and if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you are not already please hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video